Everyone had a blessed day. What's going on? You okay? Yes, this is phenomenal uh, for the university. This is phenomenal for the young man. Usually in camp, everybody hit a little low and you try to catch them before they hit that so they can bring some excitement so they can push through um, just the, the whole monotonous of uh, the same old, same old routine. And that's what this was about today. I think they did a phenomenal job. I'm proud of them. No injuries, thank God, no injuries. Travis is good. We just wanted to give him some rest. He's great and uh, he can't wait to, to see this the sellout crowd uh, in our first game. Let's go. Tyler, go ahead. Uh, did you see the energy you wanted to see? For, obviously, you said last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, somewhat. Somewhat. I mean, we could always do better. I'm never going to be 100% satisfied. I'm, I'm a former football player, not just a coach. So you, you're never going to be 100% satisfied. But I'm happy with uh, what we got accomplished today. You got to understand, I handicapped the offense. Um, I'm sorry for using that terminology, but I, I, I made sure the offense, we didn't get, show no signals. Uh, we cut down the playbook tremendously. We didn't give them a really quick game. So we did some things that we didn't want to show too much of our hand. And I think we did a phenomenal job at that, not showing anything. <laughs> Adam, go ahead. With less than two weeks until the opener, what do you still need to get accomplished to get ready for that game? We just want to make sure we're conditioned properly, that we could go 100% uh, the entire game. Uh, the, the best thing about this season is, is tremendous a, lot of, uh, a tremendous amount of depth. On the offensive line, on the defensive line, you, you got several guys that can possibly start. That is horrible. I'm sorry. I apologize. Everybody. Everybody deserves a moment, okay? You got to give everybody a moment. He's been ready for this all week, man, so let him have his moment. God bless you, man. Ryan, go ahead. Coach, Tajay McCoy looked like he was really showing out out there. Yeah, Tajay got, Tajay got something on his mind. He, he has uh, several guys that he's competing with um, to get on the field and get an ample playing time. Tajay is uh, you talking about a, a, a freshman that played a little last year. This product, this is really his freshman year, his redshirt freshman. We're expecting some wonderful things from him. His motor is unbelievable, never gets in trouble. Um, great GPA, great kid. I'm gonna do what you ask him to do. Yes, sir, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, type of young man, and I love him, I'm proud of him. Over here to Taylor. Coach, where are those standouts that you saw on offense today, then, in your eyes? Um, Love you, I, I, they love you too. I think we have a plethora of receivers that can really get the job done. Um, you're not seeing much because we're not doing some of our route combinations and not putting in some of the packages that we would normally put in and giving Shador the usage of the whole field and some things that he wanted to do. So he got a little frustrated because he wanted to do a few more things, but we can't. We can't do that out here in front of the whole country. But uh, the running back, shoot, the running back, we can run the heck out of the ball. I think we have ample running backs that can get the job get the job done. We're trying to wait to progress the freshmen to make sure they can play up under the lights with a, a sold out crowd and a packed house and everybody chant. You know, this is they hadn't played in that atmosphere when we're trying to make sure. But we got some uh, guys with some years of experience under their belt that can do a wonderful job and I and that's what we expect from them. A couple more, Jack. Go ahead. Um, just playing at a high school field today. Is it kind of bring you back to your high school days a little bit? Not whatsoever. We had grass field, and uh, I think we had one side of the bleachers. It was nothing like this. And uh, this is probably was the biggest crowd I would have ever played in high school. <laughs> this probably was a state championship type of game, and I never made it that far. But I'm, I'm glad we got to come deep in the community. I had to use the bathroom, so I wanted to go find an Apple bathroom around. I wasn't definitely going to use the poor party. And we pulled up to a police station. And I was just walking to the police station, use the bathroom, and walk out. They didn't even notice me. I'm thank, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the police station right around the corner. You know that, right? I went there today. Yeah. That was expect, good. Do you expect Coach Shermer and Coach Livingston to both be up in the box this year coaching? No, no. Neither is going to be in the box. Okay. Neither. Is that a change from Coach Shermer last year after he took over play calling duties? Well, he, he wanted to see the game uh, from a different perspective. Um, and that's what he wanted to do. He, he really wants to be down there hands on and work hand in hand with Shador because they see a lot of things uh, jointly. And Brett is doing a wonderful job up top. Coach Pollock is doing a wonderful job up top. So we got what we want. And uh, he's going to be on the field doing what he's uh, blessed to do. I, God, we got some good guys. I mean, they're good character guys. Uh, the kids love them. 
Um, schematically, they're second to nine. I feel like I can't wait to see what they. I already know what they come up with for the first game. I can't wait to you see it. Last one, go ahead, Brian. Coach, uh, just want to ask you. At what point do you solidify that depth chart to where you guys can be ready for game week and know? Uh, guys probably right before kickoff. <laughs> That's the truth. Right before kickoff, you it's so many it's too many things happen. You know, somebody may sustain an injury in practice. Somebody may not give the effort that you desire. That's why you do little things like that. But you want to keep them safe so you can see uh, put them in uh, turbulent situations like the few days ago at practice. I stopped everything in the middle of the practice and we did gassers. I wanted to fatigue them to see who would retain information, who would fight through the exhaustion. So we do things like that just to see what we got. You got to put people in, in pressurized situations to see what you're going to come up with. Let's do a couple more. Does that, also, really good. Real quick, does that also ensure that they stay competitive up to game day, that they don't, nobody sits back? I, I don't know how you won't be competitive up to game day when most of these guys getting a check. That don't make sense to me. Why you get away from Boulder for a little bit? I love Boulder. I don't want to get away from Boulder. I love Boulder. I just want to change the atmosphere, uh, come over to Denver. Uh, the fan base is phenomenal everywhere around the country, but we just wanted to come over and show some love because we got a tremendous amount of uh, love and appreciation and respect from this part of the city as well. You come down the hill, what do you, what do you think about this environment? What do you mean come down the hill? Come down the hill from Boulder. I have no idea what coming down the hill means. I was in the oh okay I'm sorry I was in the back seat of the car I don't know what hill that came down <laughs> I was sleep all the way here but it, you venture out there are new bus fans what did you think? yeah we got bus fans everywhere going through airports uh the whole off season we got bus fans everywhere I'm 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 thankful for Buff Nation and what uh, uh how wonderful they are to us I'm I'm really joyous and joyful to the way we uh, are represented. Jay, go ahead. Coach Prime, yeah, you kind of moved the offensive line around. Tyler's working at right tackle. What yeah. have you seen from him so far there? Um, stability, uh, physicality. He could play anywhere. He could even play center. Um, you just never know what may transpire within the confines of a game. So we're going to move guys around just in case this happens, this happens, this happens. We do just in case periods all the time. If this guy goes down, who's going in? If this guy goes down, who's going in? We, we do that all the time. So that's just an extension of just being totally prepared. Speaking Coach. of Tyler, how cool is it to see him back on the field after last oh, year? Oh, my God. Great. That's You know, he's one of my favorites. He is truly one of my favorites. And I think he's going to be featured in the documentary this year as well. So people could really get to know uh, a lot more about him because he's a very interesting young man, which I adore. Coach? Yes. Yes, go. So we saw a lot of Charlie Offered all today. Yeah. What are you seeing out of Charlie so far? Uh, it's consistency. The same thing I've been seeing out of Charlie since I arrived on his campus. Charlie's a pillar of consistency, uh, commitment to excellence on the field as well as off the field. He's not going to blow on assignments. He's not going to miss blocks. Charlie's going to do his job. So uh, I I feel good with Charlie. I feel good with, with, with shoot, Hayden. I feel good with all these guys, man. I think we got several backs that can get the job done, whichever one's number is called. You also rebuilt the defensive line on top yeah. of the offensive line, obviously mm -hmm. stopping the run a big priority. It's priority. How do you feel that group is coming along? Feel, There's a lot feel, of faces. feel there. pretty darn good. Uh, Cokes and Chidozzi are doing a wonderful job up front. We got several pass rush, I apologize, good, on the good. outside that can get the job done, man. You can see they going it's going to be a problem. Throwing the football against us is going to be a problem. You can see the secondary is upgraded as well. Um, the back end, the safeties, they're physical as ever. Shallow's doing his thing. Cam is doing his thing. Trevor's doing a wonderful job inside. Bentley is doing a, a wonderful job uh, as as well as uh, JB and so forth. Um, depth is a key ingredient that we uh, we have. Is that is the guy here from CBS? No, sir. Who, who, who's here from CBS? Uh, Romeo. God bless you. Tell him, tell him he know. He know. I know. Yeah, but I want everybody to know we're good. We was good then, but they seemed like we wasn't good. We're good. I love him and I appreciate him. Tell him I do a sit down one-on-one -on -one with him. We're good. We're good now. Yeah, we've been good, but we're really good now. Coach, yeah. uh, Mike Camille, Denver Public Schools. Can you just say a little bit about the partnership with Denver Public Schools? Wonderful. I love it. I, I wish we could do more. I wish I had the time to get out and do more. I wish our players had the time to get out and do more with the Denver Public Schools. I'm a product of public school education, and uh, it worked pretty darn good for me, and I'm happy about it. But I wish we could get out a little more and do a little more for the Denver, Denver Public Schools. But we're going to take care of Boulder Public Schools first. Okay, then we're going to ease on down the road. Coach, you know you were frustrated with the lack of touchbacks last year. Yeah. Is that better? Are you seeing more consistently? Uh, well, you don't know that until the game starts. Everybody can kick the darn ball out of the end zone when there ain't no, ain't no pressure. So we got to see what happens. Uh, 
I, I like what I'm seeing. JC's doing a phenomenal job, and you know, Amanda's automatic. We got several guys fighting for that job. You just got the, a chance to see two of them at the conclusion of practice, but uh, we got some um, kickers with some powerful legs. A couple more guys, and ladies as well. Preston Hodge seems like he's had a really he's a good dog. camp so far. He's I mean, a he dog. Like NFL guy, yeah. Preston Hodge is a, uh, I, I just really sat in my office today and thought about the potential NFL guys. I think we're looking at seven, seven, eight guys on defense that'll probably be pros at the conclusion of the season. And uh, that's not putting none on it. That's not lying. That's, that's, I, I, you know, I talk to the scouts every day. I think a few of them are uh, there to meet me today. Oh my God, is that my dog? It is. I know those guys. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, seven, eight guys I feel like is going to get drafted. I assume B.J. Green's one of those guys. Yeah, and definitely, how, definitely. How nice has it been to kind of just plug him into the defense? B.J. is uh, more than a plug-in. B.J.'s is a, he's B.J. is a attitude. He's a force to be reckoned with. He's going to be a problem. He really is. How That's one. The Hood Brothers. Hood Brothers, Brothers are doing great. Offensively as well as defensively, they're doing great. They really are. Happy, elated. Anything else? Appreciate you. Thanks, God you bless you. Thank Love you. you. Take care. Be safe on the way home. Coach. Yes, sir.